Hey everyone, it's the Dollar Bells here. I'm Amelise. And I'm Betsy. Today, we're talking about building wealth. It sounds like a tactic that's reserved for like Warren Buffett or Elon Musk, but the reality is, is anyone can build wealth, even you. Even me. So let's go through six ways you can start growing your reserves ASAP. I think we say this every show, but it really can't be emphasized enough. Pay off your debt as soon as possible. The interest that you are paying on credit cards, student loans, and auto loans add up immensely, and it's just like giving money away. One method that works well is to pay off the account with the lowest balance first. It gives you a feeling of accomplishment and progress, and when it's done, you can redirect that payment towards the next lowest balance. Live below your means. Keyword, below. If you have a lot of credit card debt, one possible reason may be that you're living beyond your means. That's not always why. Sometimes credit card debt is due to unexpected emergencies or medical issues. But in many cases, credit card debt is due to simply spending more than you make. No judgment, but if that sounds like your current situation, you're definitely not alone. Your next step is to make a budget and stick to it. If you can't afford something in your miscellaneous spending category, don't buy it. Save up until you have the cash. I know, sounds so easy, doesn't it? Another good strategy is to think about your expenses and how you can cut back on them. Are you eating out three times a week for lunch? Cut it down to one. You'll be surprised how fast several smaller budget changes add up to larger savings. Make your money work for you. What does that even mean? You've probably heard it before and it feels a little vague, doesn't it? All it really means is when you put your money in certain savings accounts, it will earn you more money from interest and compounding interest. When you put your money underneath the mattress, not that any of you are doing that, it's not working for you by growing your funds. By putting money in accounts that pay interest, such as savings, money market, or certificate of deposit accounts, you make your money with zero or very little effort on your end. Start saving now. Whatever coins you have in your pocket, throw them in your piggy bank. But seriously, whatever you can afford to put in an interest earning account, do it now. Here's an example that's really kind of mind blowing. If you start saving $250 per month at age 25 and really stick to it, assuming an average return on investment of 8%, you'll have over $800,000 by the time you're 65. Start at age 35 and you'll have over 375,000. And if you wait until you're 45, you'll accumulate just over 100,000. And that's all thanks to the power of compounding interest. 250 is just an example. Whatever you do to set yourself up for the future is worth it. Build your emergency savings fund. I won't harp on this one too much because we've already done a video on it. But building your fund to cover three to six months of living expenses is one goal you should definitely be striving for. We'll put that video link below so you can check it out later. Finally, max out your retirement savings options or work up to maxing it out. First things first, if you're not contributing to your 401k, do it now. It's one of the easiest and fastest ways to build wealth, especially if your employer offers any sort of match, and many do. 401k contributions are taken from your paycheck pre-tax and invested for you, so there's not much you have to do other than watch it grow. If you don't have access to an employer-sponsored 401k or retirement plan, make sure you're contributing to an IRA, a Roth IRA, or a solo 401k. Even if you have an employer-sponsored plan, it's smart to have one of your own on top of that to build your wealth even faster. It never hurts to consult a financial advisor about what options are best for you. So that's what we know about building wealth. The bottom line is start small if you need to and make adjustments along the way until you're where you want to be, which is a good life lesson overall. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.